Chinese grammar is much much easier than English. For Chinese grammar, you just need five minutes. Welcome to my channel, I'm Lucia. Today, I will talk with you the basic Chinese grammar. The basics, add description, add results, and ask questions in just five minutes. Let's get started. The first basic structure, things plus adjective. For example, you are smart. You are instead of 你是, we should say 你很, 你很 smart, 聪明, 你很聪明. For noun plus adjective, in Chinese, we say 能很 adjective, 能很 adjective. Remember this word 很 instead of 是. Number two is subject plus verb plus object. I go to the park. 我去公园, 我去公园. You do homework. 你写作业, 你写作业. This is the same as English sentence structure, and this is the stem of the synthesis. After getting this stem, if we want to add any description inside this sentence, generally we add description in front of the word we want to describe. Example is, I go to the park. 我去公园. I go to a beautiful park. The beautiful describing park. So we will add the word beautiful, 漂亮的, before the word park, 公园. I go to the beautiful park. 我去漂亮的公园. I go to the park today. The time word today describes the action go. So we will add this time word before this action word go. 我今天去公园. 我今天去公园. I go to the park today. 我吃午饭. I eat lunch. I eat lunch in the classroom. I eat lunch. 我吃午饭. I eat lunch at the classroom. In the classroom, this location describes our action, eat. So we will add this description word, which is in the classroom, 在教室, before our word, eat, 吃. So, 我在教室吃午饭. 我在教室吃午饭. Where the 在教室 describes 吃, so we put it in front of this word, 吃. Number four, we want to add the result. I finished reading this book. The stem of this sentence is 我读书, I read book. We had a result word that's finish reading, finish doing something. The word finish is the result of the action read. So we put the result word after the action read. Finish is 完, 完成, after the action read, which is 读. So 我读完书了. 我读完书了. So this is our general logic. We get the stem first, which is subject, adjective, or mostly is subject, verb, object. After that, you add description before the word you describe, and you add the result after the word that counts the result. What about asking questions? Well, you will find this much easier than English grammar. It's more like a filling the blank game. Let's first review the question word. What? 什么? Who? When? 什么时候? That's like what time? 什么时候? Where? 哪儿? Where? 哪儿? How? 怎样? How? 怎样? And uh, a special one is how much? 多少钱? Asking question is like filling the blanks. We actually don't change any sequence in our step. Let's use this example again. I go to the park. You may want to ask, where do you go? Where do you go? We are asking about the location. You see, in English we switch the sequence, but in Chinese we just change it to a blank. Where do I go? I go where? 我去哪儿? 我去哪儿? And that is the Chinese sentence. I go to the park today. In Chinese is 我 Today describes 去 我今天去公园 I want to ask the time. When do you go to the park? When do you go to the park? We switch the time words into the blank. 你什么时候去公园? You when go to the park. And no sequence changed in this sentence. This mouse is 100yuan. 这个鼠标100yuan. 这个鼠标100yuan. How much is this mouse? 这个鼠标, we change it to the blank. 多少钱? 这个鼠标多少钱? That is how we ask questions in the Chinese grammar. We change nothing about the sequence. The only thing we do is we change the word we want to say into the question word. Let's do a very quick recap. 
So today we use 5 minutes covered 5 grammar phenomenon. The first, not plus adjective. The second, not plus verb plus not. Number three, add description. You add description to the word you want to describe. Number four is to add the result. We add the result after the word that caused the result. Number five is to ask questions. How to ask questions? You don't change any sequence. You just change the word you want to ask into a question word. Comment down below if you have any questions and please subscribe so you will not miss any courses, tips, tricks like this. Thank you for listening and I will see you soon. Bye.